Hey gang, it's your boy Platt. Today I show you how to make chicken jerky. So let's go. So if you've been watching the channel for a while, you know that we've done probably about 10 or so of these uh, different jerky videos. Started off with, uh, I think, bottom round, and then we went to ground beef, we went to ground turkey, uh, I think bison, um, bacon jerky, uh, we even made alligator jerky. So it was just an, a logical process that we'd eventually get to chicken jerky. And uh, specifically we're using ground chicken. Now the great thing about using chicken, uh, actually there's two great things about using chicken. The first one though is it's a real lean cut of meat. This particular chicken is 96% lean. We've talked about in other videos you don't want too high of a fat content. It just makes it tough to to sweat that off and, and as far as for spoilage uh, concerns, uh, you know, ground beef, beef, we talk about you need at least 90% lean. Uh, this is, like I said, 96% lean. So we got a lean cut of meat. Actually, maybe the thing we might need to worry about is will it get too dry? And that's why uh, my approach to this recipe is a little different. Some of the things I've made uh, using kits where you just dried ingredients added as kind of a marinade. This time I'm going to choose some wet ingredients and hopefully that will help us to uh, keep from drying out the uh, jerky. Other good thing about chicken jerky uh, that I've done in my research for this video, it appears it is a great treat not just for you but your dog. I hear the uh, puppy dogs just love a good uh, stick of chicken jerky and we love dogs so that works out. And uh, I guess if we ruin the recipe too bad, well, our dog just has <laughs> more jerky, which is good for him. Um, real quick, like I said, um, this recipe, we're using more liquid ingredients. I've talked about in other videos uh, how sodium, the salt content is big because it's used as a preservative to, you know, to increase our shelf life. We are not going to use curing salts. In this particular video, we're going to use the power of soy and Worcestershire sauce to provide that sodium, the, the, the salts, to uh, help preserve. So that's going to be kind of the base of the recipe. With that being said, let's get to make some chicken jerky. All right, so like my other recipes, we're starting off with a base of one pound of meat. So you can scale this uh, recipe however you like, you know, two pounds, five pounds, what have you. I just do in one pound increments. Uh, so we're going to start off first with our liquid ingredients. Um, in this particular cup here, I have half a cup of soy and one tablespoon of our Worcestershire sauce. We'll put that on top. Next, we're going to do a half a cup of tequila. I have found that tequila makes an absolute wonderful marinade for chicken. I've worked in a couple different restaurants over the years, and they've had some kind of tequila chicken dish in that marinade. I think it makes a, a great part of a marinade for chicken. So we'll add a half a cup in here. Uh, in here, and this might be something you might want to start doing, uh, make your life a little easier, is kind of putting multiple ingredients in these cups just make your life easier. In here, I have one teaspoon of uh, garlic powder and one teaspoon of onion powder. I just love garlic. Um, you know, I know some people um, feel feel a little different about that. So we'll pitch that in. Uh, real quick, for those who are curious, uh, I use salsa for my tequila. I used, I'd had it in a video a while back and just decided to use it. So we got our ingredients in. Next, I'm going to top off with just a little salt and pepper, just... You know, a couple of dashes, nothing too crazy. Just, it's hard to beat good old salt and pepper. And then if you want to spice things up, and it's, it's always up to you. Again, you can play with these recipes. I'm going to go with the Chipotle Cholula hot sauce. Just a couple of dashes, just a little bit to kick her up. And then I'm going to get in there and start mixing this all around. We probably won't absorb all this liquid, but just really get in there, mix this all up. All right. And then once I get it all mixed up, we'll throw it in a freezer bag, throw it in the fridge, let it sit overnight, let that 
all that tequila and Worcestershire and everything just marinate in. So we'll come back tomorrow to throw this into the dehydrator. All right, gang, it's the next day. I've got the jerky gun ready to go, lo all loaded. Uh, something I want to touch on real quick. I may have done this in other videos before, but I want to generally reminder, even though we're using a plastic trays for our dehydrator, you still want to spray on some uh, no-stick spray. Just going to make your life easier, especially dealing with the ground beefs, ground turkey, chicken, uh, beef, what have you. Just a light little coating. It's just going to make uh, our life easier when it comes time to take off. You know, you won't have to worry about getting stuck. I've got the single wide attachment on the chicken, on the jerky gun. Yeah, make, make a nice wide strip. Um, there we go. Real quick, something uh, you may or may not be wondering. Uh, yes, we do have tequila in this. Will any of this tequila show up? Can you get drunk off this? The answer is probably not. Um, our de dehydrator sitting is 165 degrees. Now, alcohol burns off at 170 or around 170, 172. That is for ethanol. Methanol and some of the lower alcohols actually have a lower um, boiling point, and they'll leave us and around the 150 range. So we're gonna lose the methanol, some of the lower alcohols. There will be some ethanol left over, but not a lot. We put half a cup, four ounces, and a whole pound of uh, ground chicken. Not a lot of that's going to get to you. You'll probably get, again, some of that flavor. That's what we're hoping for, but as far as getting a buzz off of this, you're probably not. And again, we talked about this as a potential treat for your pets. Again, that's probably not going to transfer over to them. I would definitely ask your vet before, you know, if your dog has any special dietary needs. But, again, as far as the alcohol goes, probably not a lot. It's going to translate over, but technically some should. So, just wanted to uh, bring that up for you. I'm going to go ahead and get this all plated up, and then we'll come back. I'll get this plated up, and then... Fire up the dehydrator and then we'll come back in four hours and see how our chicken jerky turned out. All right, gangs, it's been four hours. Our jerky is ready. Let's give her a try. I love, love, love the jerky just coming fresh out of the dehydrator. Still maintains a little bit of that moisture warmer. We'll see how it comes out in, in a day or two. Uh, the texture changes, but just hot jerky right out of the dehydrator is tough to beat. Let's give her a try. Wow, turned out more moist than I thought. At the start of the video, I talked about it. I was worried about, because chicken's such a lean meat that it might come out a little dry. I think the wet ingredients in our marinade really helped. Don't notice the tequila much. The soy and the Worcestershire sauce are, are the dominant flavors. The real good, real tender, um, similar texture, of course, to the ground beef jerky we made. Overall, real good, and I bet something your dog would like, too. Again, a lot of people give this to their dogs, the chicken jerky treat. I will leave the recipe down below if you want to make this home. Well, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, please like the video because it lets YouTube know we're putting out good content. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave it in the comment section, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Until next time, bottoms up.